She is my friend. I have known her forever. We are always together. She is perfection. She is a work of art. Shall I be Shakespeare and compare thee to a midsummer's night? Her skin is a fairy tale, snow white, and her lips are as red as the rose. Her hair is as dark as your raven, Mr. Poe, and her eyes leave me in a place, in a phrase, under the sea. She is a masterpiece. However, when, where I see a Monet or a Leonardo, all she sees is a work of Picasso, deformed, misformed, a mistake. I wonder how many times it will take as she tries to hide herself in black for me to convince her that she's not a mistake. Baby, you're abstract. But she doesn't listen to me, or rather, she can't hear me, because the sound of comforting compliments is never high enough to compete with the cursed serenade of those haters that sing. Singing. Singing she used to do, but those attacks came on like that annoying ass song on KRQ, and it just got stuck in her head. She knows that hater speak is just a bunch of words that they carry no physical affliction, but she can't help but feel that those words that were so carelessly scribbled onto that scrap of scripture must now remain in her mind. She must take every happy thought and replace it with another lie, another insult, another reason to cry. She knows what people say behind her back. She now thinks she's worthless, pathetic, ugly, fat. All those words that were ruthlessly beaten into her body with black and blue messages are now written in red raspberry text on her wrists. She begins to cave to peer pressure, to conform to society's bonds. She begins to kill her hair with dye, one, e one shade. She becomes the epitome of a ditzy blonde. She pulls out all the stops to become nothing more than a stereotype. She greets her friends, anorexia and bulimia, as her saviors, those who will take her to that ideal Barbie figure. She knocks back pills to keep her body from rejecting this unnatural infection, this plastic mentality, this so-called correction. She drowns her sorrows in shots of bleach because her sandy white beach skin does not meet the standards of this cookie cutter suburbia that she lives in. Being Caucasian is no longer enough to be considered being that pearly perfection known as white. But one night, there's too many pills in her hand, too much blood flowing from her wrist, not enough rope to let her feet touch the ground. Her names were Phoebe, Morgan, and Eden, Tori, Megan, and Rachel, Alexa, Alexis, and Jesse, and so many more. And those were her names because she is no longer with us. Mm.